Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to be talking about this which is my uh, ant weight combat robot test arena. Now for those of you who don't know, ant weights, even the tiny little ant weights, 150 gram robots like this is a party, can be quite dangerous. They can throw shrapnel quite far and if you actually get your fingers into a weapon blade, you would probably lose a finger or at least break it, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of energy in these little things and to be safe when you're testing them, the best option is a test box. There are a lot of people who will advocate for clamping your combat robot down to a surface and spinning the weapon up. However, while that will tell you which way your weapon is spinning and how your weapon spins up, there is nothing quite like being able to drive the robot around with the weapon spinning to get practice with gyro forces and all of that kind of stuff. And to do that, you really need something like this, which is uh, my test box. Now, uh, we're going to go a little bit into how I built this and why I built this and why I chose the materials I did. This is a very uh, off the shelf, or maybe I should say in the shelf, um, test box and we'll get into why that's a thing in just half a second. Uh, so like I said, you want to this to basically be able to spin up weapons in. So it needs to be relatively secure and nice and sturdy, which is what this thing actually is. Uh, so my arena has three different parts to it. It has the outer walls, which are made of MDF. It has a floor, which is replaceable. And then it has a three millimeter sheet of Lexan that is bolted into the top up here uh, that you can see, uh, which is not designed to be replaceable. It's designed to uh, be done once and never done again, because the Lexan is actually the most costly part of this entire build. I had this Lexan cut by a local plastics place and I can't remember exactly how much it cost me, but it would be in the kind of 30 to $40 range just for this one piece of Lexan over the top. Uh, so as I said at the start, this was designed to be a pretty off the shelf build and I didn't really want anything to be all that complicated to make. So the main body of this uh, arena is actually a four cube shelf that you'll find in most kind of shops really. Like uh, here in Australia, I got this from the reject shop, which is a very cheap store in Australia. It would be, uh, well, it's almost like if you took just small sections out of Walmart and chuck them into another shop on their own, that's what this has basically come from. Uh, so I have taken that as basically a way of getting a nice square made up in the quickest and easiest fashion. Because of course, these things come with nice uh, dowel pegs and things and they're pretty easy to glue together and squeeze up and form up. Uh, then to get the Lexan top frame on and also just to secure up the sides a little bit, I printed out some brackets uh, inside and outside. So the outside bracket is just a bracing bracket, then the inside bracket actually has the hole that uh, mounts up the actual Lexan. So the Lexan is held in place with four M8 bolts and there's literally just a nut on the inside of that, which we'll see in a second once I kind of take the top off this thing, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, so these uh, brackets are literally just printed in 100% infill so that they're nice and strong and like I said they just shore up the corners a little bit because these uh, cupboard things, these like bookshelf things are designed to have a nice big cross brace in the middle of them and then two shelves either side to kind of shore them up a little bit. So I just wanted to add a little bit more structural strength to it. I don't think it's 100% necessary but it does make getting the top on nice and easy. And uh, yeah, this top has just been bolted on here the entire time I've had it. I've never actually had to take these bolts out or do anything like that. So the bolt uh, at the top is 8 mil, and then the three bolts on each side holding on the actual 3D printed part are 6 mil, and they work pretty well. Then there are two handles on either side. These are just IKEA door handles, basically. Uh, so a lot of this you can see I took um, some time and effort to find things that were pretty readily available to turn into a combat robot arena. Now. Uh, the actual floor of this thing, to see that, I'm going to have to lift this all up. And the floor itself is in two parts because uh, this arena is going to see some abuse and has seen some abuse and you'll see that as soon as I lift the top off this arena. So if I just grab these handles and lift the top off the arena, and put that down to the side for a minute. 
just over there. This is the base of the arena. So it is actually in two parts, like I said, which I was meaning to turn into one part, but I changed my mind on that. So the first layer is a three mil piece of MDF. And this is the piece that gets damaged and worn. And there are nice little scuff marks all over it from where I've been testing. This is a party and all that kind of stuff. And it's also got all of the dust and grit from hitting other robots and hitting plastic shells and things in it. And then in underneath that is actually the four or the pieces of the shelves that were originally supposed to be inside the, uh, the four cube shelf thing that this came out of because these things fit inside there really nicely. They're, that's what they're designed to do. They're designed to sit in as actual shelves. Uh, the only thing I had to do was one of these um, cupboard pieces, like one of the pieces that go upways. I actually had to make a little bit of a cut in that just so that it would actually fit. But then the four of those together make up the main base. This is actually probably a little bit overkill. I could probably just get away with the three mil MDF piece, but having a nice solid base in underneath kind of just, it makes me feel a little bit better about the whole thing on just in on average. Um, I really should turn around and actually glue these pieces together, probably get another piece of three mil MDF and glue the three mil MDF onto those and then all of those together so that everything is nice and sturdy. And then we'll have this piece of three mil MDF that gets put in and out as a replaceable piece uh, that is just nice and can be disposed of because it will get marked up and damaged and all of that kind of stuff. And you can see there's a little bit of damage on there already. Uh, and then we'll have a quick look inside the actual arena itself. So this is the inside of the arena. Uh, so I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but just over here, that is the actual inside, in corner, uh, inside bracket of this uh, beast. And as you can see, it's just got lots of bolts and everything holding that Lexan in place. Uh, so it's not, on the whole, it's not an overly complicated build and it wasn't really ever supposed to be a complicated build. Like I said, I chose the materials that I've used simply because they are pretty easy to get your hands on. And yeah, it's an in the shelf build because the test box itself is a shelf. It's just the inside of a shelf is being used to uh, hold everything together. Now, if I was gonna do some upgrades in the future, I would put a metal strip down in around the actual bottom of the arena in up through here, because I'm getting a few marks on that now from uh, my vertical spinner hitting into the wall a little bit, which isn't great, but there's enough wood here that it's not ever gonna go all the way through that, but it would just be nice to have a little bit of extra protection there um, going forwards. Yeah, so that is my little test arena. The only real issue with it is that getting it back together is a little bit difficult, as in getting it back on the base is a little bit difficult because those four uh, wood panels can kind of shift around a bit and they are a tight fit in the base. Uh, so you have to kind of jiggle it a little bit to get it to, to sit down. But there you go, it sat down nicely and easily that time. So pretty happy with that. Yeah, well there you go. So I think uh, that is going to be the end of this little video. It was just a quick one to show you my test arena and what I use to test my ant weights in. I have put my beta weight in here before, but I haven't been able to move it around because it's too small of a test box to spin a weapon and move around inside here for a beta weight. Um, yeah, so I probably might need a bigger beta weight arena, test arena in the near future. But uh, we'll, we'll see about that one. That's, um, that's going to be a lot bigger and have to have a lot more Lexan and it's going to cost a lot more and I won't be able to make it out of a shelf. Um, so it's going to be a bit more of a complicated build. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. hope this has uh, shown you that this type of thing is pretty easy to do and you can uh, do it at home. I would definitely recommend doing this at home so that you can test your robots out properly and fully. And I will see you in the next video.